Hi, I'm Nick, and I'm from the UK. I'm currently travelling Australia at the moment, and at the moment I am on top of Mount Wellington in Tasmania. Uh, just watching the sunset go down over here. <laughs> the view is incredible. You guys are watching Fun for Louis, and enjoy. Good morning, guys. It's day six. Wait. I can't do six um, of the Toyota road trip, and before we all head off in different directions, some of us are going to LA, some of us are going to San Fran. We're having a big team breakfast yeah. and, and laptop club as usual. <laughs> Cheers. Will, Arden, Laura, and Tyson are off. And they're heading to LA to catch flights, places, and do things. Um, the team are breaking apart. We only got a few days together, but it was it was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome. Guys, it's been awesome. Again, not long enough, but we'll we'll arrange some more adventures. So that's Steve. Right. Boom. Boom. See you in a few weeks. Yeah, man. Mr. Wedding Man. <laughs> the groom. And these boys. It's been a pleasure. I think this is the first trip we've all done together. And guys, if you, if you haven't already, these guys have been daily vlogging this week, so go and check them out. Links below. Perfect. Right, guys, hopefully we can reunite the clans and yeah. get another epic adventure somewhere else in the world. In South, South America? America. I think, I think South, America. South America road trip. Let's do it. Let's roll. Well, we've made it to San Francisco. That was, a, that was a fun drive. Did it in like two and a half hours or something. Pretty cool. And we're now meeting Dave and Ange for some lunch. Lunch has arrived and so has Ange. She's joined us. Hi. Lunch and Ange. Yeah. yeah. It's a similar category. In, in priority. That's the priority. No, I'm joking. Yeah. Really? It's more exciting than Ange. I'm sorry. <laughs> But anyway, we've got delicious lunch. Tell us about your lunch, Raya. Um, well, Nadine and I got this in Orlando and it was like one of the best salads I've ever had. So I got it again and I'm really excited. Oh, yeah, I've really never had a good salad, so maybe I should taste you some. You should definitely taste some. Oh, That's okay. Amazing. So we just finished lunch and uh, I haven't told you guys yet, but the reason I'm back in San Fran today is we've got a meeting with Apple, who I met at VidCon, and uh, I'm pretty excited. Well guys, that was an exciting but very long meeting and we ended up going for some food and drinks and stuff uh, in a bar. But turns out I'm going to be doing some stuff with Apple. They don't work with many people but we're going to be doing some stuff together, um, which is exciting. Uh, I can't tell you a lot more than that. Um, I now want to find something fun to do in San Francisco. Uh, we've got the evening. It's a beautiful night as well. It's nice and warm, so we're going to go and find a little adventure to have. So we've driven down the road and Dave's friend has offered that we could stay with her tonight because I think this is where Dave's crashing. Um, and then still trying to figure out a plan tonight. Turns out Monday nights in San Francisco, there's not a lot going on. So we met Dave's friend and we have left Dave to sleep because he's tired and stuff. We decided to head into the city to find something to eat and also to see if we can find some live music. I don't know if there's any jazz going on, but we found this thing called Motown Monday, so we're gonna go check that out. We've arrived in the Mission District. It's pretty quiet. I don't think there's a lot going on, but um, this is the bar that we found out about and we're going to go and see what's going on inside. There's nothing going on. Huh. Well, the bar we were going to go into, uh, there's no one in it at all. Uh, 
So we just popped into the store, got a Red Bull, uh, also some super glue because we need to glue the LED lighting back in the van because it fell off. And we decided to just go for a little, a little wonder in the Mission District. It's pretty cool, there's like graffiti everywhere and um, apparently there's a burrito place up here we're going to check out. So quiet though. Why is San Francisco so quiet? I thought it'd be a late night city. We have ordered some burritos and we're just waiting to get them. Uh, as I walked in, there was a lady standing outside who is obviously quite hungry. I'm guessing she's homeless and she asked if I could buy her some food. So I think sometimes you take You've got to take those opportunities to do nice things to other people and help people that are in need. And, uh, so I've got her a shrimp burrito, she wanted a shrimp burrito. Um, and if you guys get opportunities to do things for people that aren't as privileged as you, then I would highly recommend to have that mindset and take opportunities to do those things. Um, you don't always get a chance to, but when you do, it's worth it. Looking after people around you. Uh, oh dear. Oh. Guys, I got a quesadilla, but somehow I just dropped salsa all over my shorts. How did I do that? Oh, it might be because this is a basket, <laughs> not a plate. Oh man. Guys, this is way better than I thought it would be. This is brilliant. It's all about quesadillas, not about burritos. <laughs> mm. Oh god. Guys, we just ducked down this alleyway because I just want to show you something very, very strange. Look at this. Ready? Hello! <laughs> So we've just finished our little wander around the area and we're now heading to this place called the Twin Peaks which I tweeted earlier just to ask what's cool to do at night around here and some people said it's an amazing view over San Francisco if we drive up the Twin Peaks so that's where we're heading now. Guys check out this view over San Francisco. This is pretty insane. Oh, we need to pimp out the Wonder Wagon like this. Yes, that is sick. Guys, this view is insane. We are debating whether to park here and wait till sunrise, but that's at 6 a.m. And we've got things to do tomorrow. Um, so we might do that another day. But it would be an epic sunrise right here. Uh, but what we are gonna do is use that glue that we bought earlier and we're gonna glue back on those LED lights before we head off because I think it's going to look pretty sick. And maybe we could compete with that car over there. Because we've got purple, we've got purple lights. We've got all the colours. So we've climbed in the back and we've just pulled off the, all the old sticky glue that was on the back of these LED strips. And then we're going to stick them back on. This is the glue I bought, guys. Crazy glue. We don't have this in England, but it says it's the number one super glue. So I'm hoping that's true. I think put it on the strip. And then, yeah. So what angle are we just gonna go like? Yeah, that's good. Okay. What the hell? I'm so confused. I don't understand. Uh, turns out after all that, that crazy glue doesn't work. Who'd have thought? So, if anyone knows much about glue and sticking things to other things, 
What do you, what kind of glue do you think we need to stick this, which is like kind of plasticky, to this, which is like the normal inside of a car? Any thoughts? Please comment below because glue gun glue doesn't work. Super glue doesn't work. I'm not sure what will work. We are now driving back to the area that we're staying in. I can't even remember. I need to check on Google Maps. Uh, but we're going to go and find Dave, join him. Um, but it's been yeah, it's been a chilled evening. I mean, we learnt a bit of a lesson that Monday nights is a bit of a a dead night in San Francisco. But let us know if we're wrong. Maybe there are things we missed. Uh, but I'm glad we found this spot and got to look over the city. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's cool. But there's still a lot to discover in San Francisco. There's a lot of places I'd like to go. Um, I feel like I've really not seen much here. But, um, I'll catch you in the morning, guys. We've got a few things on. And, uh, and we're planning a bit of a, a road trip somewhere cool. So uh, again, yeah, let me know below. There's places within within like driving distance of San Francisco. Oh, do you know what we want to find is hot springs, natural hot springs. So let us know if you know of any natural hot springs like within like a few hours drive. Actually, it doesn't need to be a few hours drive. It could be anywhere like, we're thinking probably north of or east of San Francisco, that'd be awesome. Right, see you in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.